treated me extremely well, and we must go if asked. Honor demands. Honor. Honor. Not honor, then. Common sense. I cannot ask mercy of Caesar, accept rank and favor from him, and then refuse his friendship. What sort of man asks for mercy in the first place? I assure you, mother, I am not proud of myself. I am not proud at all. In lieu of a noble suicide, you shall have to be content with that. Bring me my shawl. Please, do not come. I shall make your excuses to Atty. Certainly not. I will go. Not to be there would be seen as weakness. Perhaps it will do you good to see him. See that he is just a man. The loss of his affection is not worth this endless raging sorrow. I feel neither rage nor sorrow. My objection to Caesar is purely political, not personal. The Pontic troops ran so fast, I don't know if they ever stopped. It is no wonder Pompey took Pontius so readily. A child with a stick might have done so. Uh, what next, Sam? Uh, Germany, perhaps? I'm afraid I must put on a triumph this next month, and they're damnable beasts to organize. Still, the people love a good parade, and we must not disappoint them. How lovely to see you both. It's been far too long. It's joyful to be here. Joyful indeed. Is this a morning show? It's very pretty. Has someone died? A great many have died. How true. But it's all over now, and we're still alive, no? It's not possible. Octavian. Gods, you make me feel old. <laughs> Come. It is the height of four men with a long neck like a goose, spots like a leopard, and the speed of a horse. I don't believe it. A new chimera. I assure you, it is quite real. With any luck, you may see one at my triumph. I've been trying to bring one over for months now, but the wretched creatures keep dying on the way here. They do not like the sea. It all sounds very tiring. After this infernal triumph is done, you must go to the country and relax. I should like that, but then my work begins in earnest. I must set about putting the Republic to rights. A splendid notion. How shall you proceed, do you suppose? I have a few ideas, but... I'm open to suggestion. Yesterday, I saw Malchio the baker in a litter. A baker. I put a stop to that sort of thing immediately. I shall have it looked into. Octavian, hmm? how would you proceed were you me? Uh, proceed with? Putting the Republic to rights. Ah, oh, um, how to proceed? I would start a large program of public works, employing citizens and freemen, repair the aqueducts, levy the river, that sort of thing. I would create at least a hundred or so new senators that I could be sure were my creatures rather than my secret enemies. What is your point, Octavian? Oh, I do not mean you, Brutus. You're a man of honor. I believe that your capitulation is sincere. How nice of you to say so. Just had a thought. Did not your man Aelius Siculus die recently? Uh, I'm afraid he did in, in Thapsus, in fact. Just so. You shall take his seat at the pontiff's table. Pontiff's so young? I was not so much older when I entered the college. Very true. But, but I never... believe I have the authority to appoint whom I like. Indeed, yes. This is a great honor. Kiss your uncle's hand. I kiss your hand, uncle, but truly I would make an ill pontiff. Don't be ridiculous. You'll make a lovely pontiff. You will see to it, eh? I'd rather thought to concentrate on my poetry for a while. He'll make a lovely pontiff. Poetry can wait. It should not wait too long. Poetry is a young man's calling. Don't you think? <laughs> 